I'm Tom Johnson, Thomas Johnson, Antique Furniture Restoration in Gorham, Maine. This is an interesting job. This is a steamer trunk, a Louis Vuitton steamer trunk from 1906. We know it's from 1906. The owner's grandmother bought this trunk for his mother when she took her to Egypt in 1906. Uh, it's been in the family ever since. It's been stored in attics and barns, and it suffered a lot of water damage when a pipe burst in a house. Uh, you can see the, the front of it is not too bad a condition. This side, along with the top, is in the worst condition. I'm a little unsure what's going on here. It may just be a surface mildew. I'm going to have to experiment and find out. Unfortunately, the the, the handles is missing. The back of the piece actually looks really good. There's some areas here where the fabric looks like new. This side isn't as bad as the other side, but it is missing the handles. This is, I think, the worst side of the cabinet. I started experimenting with some water, and I think that what we're seeing on here appears to be very superficial. I hope so. I actually mixed a little bit of Dawn detergent in water, and I'm going to wash with that and see what what's on here comes off. Luckily, it seems like the canvas fabric and the paint on it is, is very durable, probably oil-based paint, probably oil finish on this. I need to be very careful, make sure I'm not taking off any of the gold paint that is the symbols on here, and I, I don't believe I am. It seems to be looking better and better the more I scrub it. I'm just gently scrubbing this, but I see the, the initials, the quadrifoils, and things coming out. It seems to be cleaning up really well. It kind of fades back. I'm a little unsure of how much to keep cleaning it, but uh, as long as none of the, the painted uh, symbols or the finish of the canvas itself is coming off, so I'm constantly checking. It still seems like dirt. I don't think it's color. See, there's you know paint missing here, missing here. I think that was already missing, but I need to be careful. It doesn't seem to be chipping. It doesn't seem to be loose. Okay, I'm done cleaning the fabric, and now. I'm going to move on and I'm going to clean the leather and the wood. And what I've discovered is that because the wood is uh, so banged up and has so many dark stains, I've mixed up a mild solution of oxalic acid and I'm using some 4 aught steel wool to clean the wood and to gently clean the leather and at the same time shining up the brass. The steel wool with the oxalic acid seems to be doing a great job. It's cleaning up the wood. It's making it look a lot better. It's not getting rid of every stain, which is good. We want to leave some of the wear and tear that's on here. But it's making everything look a lot better. And it's cleaning up the brass. It's doing a great job on the wood. Now I'm going to try the leather. It's doing a good job of cleaning the leather too. And believe me, the leather still looks far from perfect, but it's cleaning it up. The dirt and grime are coming up. Some of the stains are coming out. Now I'm going to apply a coat of Danish oil that has some wa uh, walnut stain in it to the leather and to the wood strips.
Okay, I've done cleaning the trunk as much as I can. And now I'm applying a coat of tongue oil and I'm going over everything with the tongue oil. The leather, the canvas, and the wood slats. I'm going to avoid the brass uh, buckles and stuff. The, um, and even though there's still some haziness here, I feel like I've scrubbed it as much as I dare. And then when it's wet with the tongue oil, a lot of that haziness disappears. This fabric on the top was the most damaged and although I scrubbed it as hard as I dared it's just not quite the same as the the back is the best you know the sides are damaged the front is good but it's coming back somewhat and that's just the way it is I think the top I don't think the damage to the top was as superficial I think it's actually worn a lot too and uh, did it as best we could well I've just applied a final coat of satin tongue oil and uh, as you can see it looks pretty clean now. Uh, I didn't attempt to like replace the leather strap that was here, nor did I attempt to replace these handles. There are replacement handles available, but to put the new brackets on, we would have lost these original Louis Vuitton nails. So the owner of the piece wasn't worried about it. The main thing is that we've cleaned it and re-oiled it and we've kept all the character and I think it looks pretty good.